Hi friends, uh, welcome to another blog and in this blog uh, I am going to describe few problems with uh, between when you are shifting from Android phone to iPhone so there are some typical challenges that uh, one face the, the one of the main challenge is that how to transfer uh, different files in, which includes photos, videos, uh, you know, any other documents or PDFs between these two devices because uh, they are not at all compatible. It's iPhone to iPhone or any iOS devices, it's very easy. You can use the AirDrop feature, but when it comes to Android to iPhone and specifically from stock Android to iPhone, there are bigger challenges. And in this video, I'm going to describe how to overcome those problems around file transfer. Stay tuned till the end and uh, enjoy the video. Today I have this uh, two phones with me. So the left, this one is uh, the iPhone, iPhone 12 and this is uh, Google Pixel 6a. And uh, here I will be you know, demonstrating uh, first uh, the file transfer feature. Okay. So, let me just uh, prepare these two phones, okay. Now, to do the file transfer between iPhone to Android, so there are <coughs> different uh, options available, but uh, what I found is most convenient is to use a tool called Snapdrop. So this is available in the Play Store. <clears throat> so you will you will see that uh, the snap, snap drop uh, for Android is uh, uh, the, the icon looks like this. So I have already installed this. So that, that's why you see that it is uh, not asking me to install it again. Once you install the snap drop uh, in your phone, it will it will appear the icon will appear like this. So you need to make sure that you are connected to a Wi-Fi network. So it is very important. And at the same point of time, you also need to make sure that your iPhone is also connected uh, to the same Wi-Fi network. Okay. So both the phone needs to be on the same uh, Wi-Fi network. Now the thing is that there is no iPhone Snapdrop application available at the moment. So all you need to do is to open browser and type snapdrop.net okay so if you type that and uh, you also open the snapdrop for android you will see that uh, <clears throat> the applications uh, so you see that in the in the iphone you see that uh, it is uh, showing as uh, the Android Pixel 6a has been identified with this icon and here if you see the uh, iOS iPhone is also being identified in the in the Android device. So now it is very easy. So if you want to transfer file for from iOS to Android, <coughs> you need to just tap on this icon. Okay, and then it will ask you to go to your photo library or you can take a photo and immediately transfer it. So I am going to photo library. So I am selecting one of my photo and then here you see the add button. So after you select the photo, you select the add button and then it immediately trans starts transferring. You see the transfer is taking place and the photo from iPhone has now been transferred to Android and I can save it okay so download successful I can also open it uh, in my photos okay so it will see that the file has been transferred seamlessly without any problem one important condition for the transfer is to make sure that this uh, you know the both the phones are on and uh, you can see these two icons 
so on the android phone you will see the ios uh, iphone icon and on the iphone you will see the android phone so in this case the pixel 6a so now let's try to transfer uh, okay uh, uh, let's uh, try to transfer something from uh, android to iphone so let me pick a file okay any file let me pick a, uh, one screenshot and it, it has been already transferred you see uh, it has been already transferred uh, on iphone I, I can save it or i can simply ignore it okay so this is how the snapdrop uh, works in some cases there are also questions whether the bluetooth uh, sharing between iphone and uh, android phone will work so we have seen that and we have tried that although the bluetooth are being identified by both the devices each other has been successfully identified but whenever you try to send something from one device to other device it will be blocked so ios have got uh, this security inbuilt security feature which prevents it to receive or send any files over bluetooth unless and until it will it, it is between two ios based devices so in short you cannot transfer files uh, using bluetooth uh, you know uh, pairing between android and iphone another typical uh, another typical problem that uh, <coughs> is faced uh, when someone moves from android uh, to iphone is uh, of course uh, the contacts so often contacts are not being not so easily transferred uh, between android phone to iphone and at a later point of time when of course you are doing it for the first time you uh, i uh, i uh, iphone gives you an option but in case you miss that uh, subsequent transfer of contacts uh, between android phone and uh, iphone is a challenge but today i will show you another method uh, which is very easy through which you can transfer very easily any contacts which is stored in your uh, android phone you can send it to your iphone to demonstrate uh, how contacts can be exported between uh, an android phone to iphone so let me first create uh, a contact okay so I'm just creating a taste contact. I'm giving some arbitrary number, okay, and uh, I'm saving it, okay. So taste uh, has been saved. So now what I need to do is that uh, I will show you there is no uh, contact available with the name of uh, test okay so let me go back and then let me search so as you can see uh, with test uh, there is no contact found the test contact that i have created uh, in this phone let me click on this uh, three dots on my contact uh, page and then there is an option for uh, share contact so I'm clicking on that option. So it's give me option either I can select all or I can select a specific contact. So let me uh, search the test contact that I have created. So I want to share that. Okay. So okay. So it has been selected now. So let me click on the uh, share icon which is there so it will of give you an option either to uh, share it uh, as a text file or as, as a v card which is a vcf file so i will select the v card option and then i will send it over email okay it has to be sent over email uh, so i'm sending it to my mailbox so this test vcf okay so i'm not giving any subject or anything i'm just uh, uh, sending it to myself so the mail has been sent okay so now 
all you need to do is to open your iPhone go to your mail application okay the mail should be coming so the mail has come now you see that the VCF file has arrived so click it so you see that uh, the phone number uh, with the test uh, file is now being shown on the iPhone and you see a share uh, option uh, in iPhone 12 so you just need to click here and uh, you need to click on this more option so in the more option you will see that uh, different apps are coming and contacts also you will see select contacts and uh, the test will now appear uh, uh, under your contacts app so you just need to save it so once you save it and come out of uh, uh, the application next time when you search uh, you see that the test is now appearing so this is how you can easily transfer uh, over gmail all your uh, contacts from android phone to iphone through a vcf file so as uh, you have seen how uh, the files including photos videos or any other files can be transferred from android to iphone and at the same point of time you have also seen how contacts can be transferred from android uh, to iphone so i hope that this video has helped you to kind of you know uh, address uh, some critical problem uh, that normally anyone faces uh, who are uh, both Android user or iPhone users or someone who is switching from uh, Android to iPhone. So I think this is uh, this is going to give you uh, you know some some amount of uh, flexibility to move data between these two different operating system. However, if the file size is very large, for so example, like 600 700 mb like you are you have captured a very high definition video and you want to transfer using the snap drop so that uh, i have i have observed that in some cases uh, it it fails in between but in most of the cases it goes through so the suggestion is that if you are trying, trying to transfer videos uh, between android phone to iphone uh, the best recommended way is to upload into in some drive and then download it from that drive the other way is that you capture it in shorter duration and then transfer it uh, using snap drop so i think that uh, should solve the problem thanks for staying with me thanks for giving me support and your love uh, by your by subscribing to my channel uh, stay tuned for more interesting videos in the days to come. Have a great day. Thank you.